Check back with you, Rachel. Thanks. Virginia's new name, image, and likeness law for college athletes is on display with March Madness underway right now. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco found out some players are already profiting. Well, last summer, a Supreme Court decision followed by an NCAA rules change, paving the way nationwide for student athlete endorsements and sponsorships that were previously banned by the league. But in the absence of federal standards, Virginia now taking further steps to regulate. To play basketball at an elite level in the ACC. Kihei Clark, a point guard for the University of Virginia, booking his first commercial. New rules allowing college athletes to profit off of their name, image, and likeness, leading to a deal with the Good Feet store in Richmond. They allow me to focus on my game and not worry about the stress on my feet. Coming it's from California, one of the first states to allow student athlete sponsorships, Clark was anxious to see how Virginia would react. Then after the NCAA changed its rules nationwide, Virginia passing temporary regulations last summer. When we eventually found out that we could. I was excited. Now a newly passed bill putting up more permanent guardrails <laughs> and creating protections for student athletes looking to profit. It brings different opportunities for different players um, to be able to support their family. Um, and do a little extra stuff for themselves. Bill sponsor Senator Jeremy McPike says Virginia's law is more restrictive than some other states banning sponsorships related to alcohol, cannabis or gambling. Some states repealed everything. It's the Wild West. They can do anything. Um, so we were a little uncomfortable with that, uh, but we also wanted to make sure we sort of articulated some of the students' rights in the process as well. And the changes don't just benefit athletes. Jonathan Cotton, the owner of the Good Feet store in Richmond, says Clark's commercial is already bringing in new business. It gets people's attention. When they see a younger person that's very active athletically, then it just says, hey, maybe this can work for me too. Now, if Governor Glenn Youngkin signs this bill into law, it will take effect July 1st, replacing Virginia's current temporary regulations. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco.